Waterfall tabs are a simple and decorative way to add some visual interest to your layouts. So let's have a look at what they are and how to set them up. First of all though, what are waterfall tabs? So the structure of these is that you have a series of subsequent pages which have been cut down so that you can see the edge of those pages. I like to call them waterfall dutch doors rather than waterfall tabs just because I think that more accurately describes what they are but waterfall tabs seems to be the common name at the moment. You can see though each of these pages has been cut down little by little so that it reveals the page below it. So for instance, this one has been cut away to reveal the one underneath. This next one has been cut away to reveal both of those. And this first one has been cut away to reveal all three. So effectively, the first page has been cut away the most, this one the second most, this one the third most, and this back one hasn't been cut away at all. So that's what waterfall tabs are, but how do we actually set them up in our journals? So our first step here is to plan the number of pages that we want our setup to have because it's always good to plan before you start cutting up your journal. For this example, I pulled out four washi tapes. So we're gonna have the back page, the front page, and two in the middle. So we're gonna need four pages for this setup. So that's one, two, three, and four. Starting on this back page, we're gonna run washi tape down the right-hand side of the spread. I'm making sure that the edge of that tape touches right to the edge of the journal because this page isn't going to get cut down at all. We do have a little bit of tape overhanging at the top and bottom but I'm going to trim all of those off at the end just to kind of batch that task together. Now as we've got washi tape on this page we are going to flip back to the layout that came before it and we're going to cut away this page. Specifically this right hand edge we're going to cut away a little bit. Depending on the width of your washi tape, you might want to cut away more or less from the edge. Because I'm using tape that's one and a half centimeters wide, I'm going to cut away about a centimeter from the edge of this page. This means that I won't have to worry about cutting too far into the page and having white space show underneath. You can see here I'm using my ruler to measure that up carefully. You can just use the dot grid, you don't actually have to measure exactly from the edge of the page. I just want to make sure that all of my waterfall tabs are going to be pretty much the same width. And that's why I'm specifically measuring from the edge of the page rather than just relying on the dot grid which can slightly vary in its position from spread to spread. The line that I'm faintly ruling in can either be used as a cut line, so I could cut this page first, or what I'm going to do is lay the tape down first. This means that I can be sure that my tape will come all the way to the edge of the page because I'm laying it down first and then cutting the page away based on where the tape ends up. Having that line ruled in though means that I can line up the tape nice and straight. Now that tape will effectively act as my cut line. So I can just very carefully trim away the excess of the page, making sure not to cut into the washi tape. While I'm just using scissors here because they're readily available, you can of course use something like a guillotine ruler to carefully cut away the edge of the page. That one will also give you a super straight cut, which is nice. Now as that one has been cut away, we can flip over and do the same process again, but this time instead of measuring one centimeter in, we're going to measure two centimeters in. So just doubling whatever width you used on the last cutaway. Because mine was one centimeter, this time I'm doing two centimeters. And again, I'm measuring that from the edge of the page rather than using the dot grid. If you aren't as picky about your widths as I am, you can just use the dot grid that's already there. This means you don't have to do the measuring or the ruling in, you can just line up your washi tape with the dot grid that's already on the page. Or as we spoke about before, you don't actually have to lay the washi tape down first, you can do the cut first and then put the washi tape up against the new edge. I just find it easier to lay the washi tape down first to make sure that I don't have any excess white space. Flipping over to our original page though, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So just adding another increment of that width that we're using and measuring it from the edge of the page. For me, this is going to be three centimeters, but it depends on what width you're using. As we said at the start though, waterfall tabs can be a great way to add some visual interest to your layouts. And I do recommend that you put them in first if you're going to be using them, because then you can plan the rest of your pages around how much area you have remaining. There's nothing worse than planning a layout and then cutting away a waterfall tab, only to realize some of your plan got cut off in the process. Now as we have those edge washies in though, it's time to go and tidy up the excess, both at the top and at the bottom. For this we're just using our scissors to carefully trim away the excess and then for that page on the back where we actually have the edge of the journal if you've got a journal like mine then the corners are rounded we could use scissors for these 
or what I like to do is use a corner rounder punch. It's just a little bit easier. From here, you can also run washi tape up the left hand side of each of the layouts, but you won't get that same waterfall effect because the page that's here is longer than the pages underneath it. For this example, I just went with a simple color gradient using solid colors, but I have seen people use things like different colors of the same pattern, using washi tapes with a similar theme, or in a similar style, or even just using more random mixes. As I said, I very much consider waterfall tabs to be more like Dutch doors than actual tabs. So if you were looking for more inspiration related to that, then the playlist at the top is where it's at. But if you were looking for tabs in particular, then our previous video on how to make different styles of tabs is for you. That one's at the bottom, so click or tap on that one and I'll see you over there.